Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we are talking about the 222nd anniversary of discovery of the Rosetta Stone. So it actually happened July 19th, 1799. I had to make sure I get the year right on that one. Um, so a lot of people ask me if it's paranormal or extraterrestrial, and I will get that there's both of those energies in there, and it's really about kind of the Rosetta Stone is kind of like the way to figure things out. And it did take uh, scientists many, many years to kind of figure out everything that was on there and to kind of be able to read it and kind of translate some of the stuff. They're still working on it as what I understand. So it's got a lot of energy in it, but I also get um, during that time frame, there was a lot of extraterrestrial energy um, in the making of the Rosetta Stone. And I think that's kind of the interesting part that I get from it. And as people work with it, and I've heard that people that have touched it can feel like the energy vibration in it. So I think that's really cool. Someday maybe I'll get to touch it. Um, I get that there's a lot of paranormal activity around it. Um, I do get that several people passed as they were putting some of the text on there. Um, and I don't feel like it was a wartime. It was one of those, maybe some people got sick or um, had issues or something like that. But there were several people that passed during the making of the Rosetta Stone. And I do feel like it was over a period of time, maybe like two to two and a half years period of time. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that's really interesting, it's also heavily connected to Napoleon Bonaparte. And he had a lot of... Um, Inside, I also feel like Napoleon Bonaparte also had a lot of psychic abilities um, that helped him in a lot of ways. But I also think when his ego overcame, it kind of just destroyed everything. It's kind of like that ego kind of ate up all of his uh, natural intuition or his insight into things. And that's where he had kind of his downfall. Um, so that's kind of an interesting energy as well. But it's one of those... Um, I would say that because of like where it was found, there is a lot of extraterrestrial energy in that area and extraterrestrials have been, have been finding or going to this location for many, many years. And it was something that they did almost like an annual basis or semi-annual basis to go to this area and to reconnect with Rosetta Stone. It was almost like a, um, an, a piece, uh, you know, iconography it's the only word I can come up with is kind of like they wanted to go and see it and touch it and put their hands on it. So if you get a chance to touch it, you've kind of put your hand where aliens have put their hands. So let's pull a couple of, of um, angel cards and let's see what information that comes forward for us on the Rosetta Stone. And it's 222 years ago they found it. That's really, really cool. Abundance. This has brought so much abundance into our world, being able to understand and kind of get the understanding their words and kind of being able to understand their language better kind of you know it's almost deciphering a code of what their you know what their o looks like compared to our o and once they figured it out they were able to read so much of this and kind of put things in order and place and actually be able to understand so much more about um, our world and how to communicate with people from that time frame balance I do feel like there's other stones similar to the Rosetta Stone um, around the world and they're placed there on purpose. And that's where I kind of get that extraterrestrial energy in it. And it's kind of like, how can we connect with that energy and how can we kind of bridge the gap? Um, they were here so long ago. Um, and I feel like that's something that um, they keep coming back to. It's one of those, they keep saying they keep coming back to it. The next card I pull, um, is all about support. There is support on with our angels and guides, but there's also support in this area from the extraterrestrials, aliens that are in were involved in creating this, to bringing this forward and kind of giving it as kind of like a working tool or a code of how to decipher so much more information. And like I said, I still feel like they're still uncovering more about it or understanding more bar, uh, parts about the Rosetta Stone. So I think that is really, really interesting. I thank you so much for joining me today and learning about the Rosetta Stone. I will be talking to you again soon.